Death brought me to life. <laughs> Seven years ago, my cousin, two months younger than me, who I grew up with, died by suicide. Two years later, my uncle, who was also very close to me, died due to leukemia in the hospital in my arms. This was seven years ago, as I had just left the nonprofit sector. I started working full time at Google, and it rocked my family to the core. It rocked me. It changed our entire lives and fundamentally changed the way that we looked at our lives. Life was now fragile, and tomorrow was not a guarantee. This changed the way that I looked at my life and the decisions that I made for my life moving forward. I would ask myself the question, if I were to die tomorrow, would I feel proud of my life? Would I feel proud of the obituary that was read at my funeral? And at that time, working for probably one of the greatest companies, anyone would say, Google, probably one of the coolest teams ever. I worked on the self-driving car team at an early stage. It was a dream job, everyone said. You're crazy for thinking of wanting to leave. But in my heart, I knew that I was put on this earth to do something different. At the same time, my family has been healing over the years, healing because of this loss, trying to make sense, make sense of it all, asking ourselves why. But what was beautiful that came out of it was it literally broke us open as a family. We were forced to look at each other with new eyes, being more open, honest, talking, communicating, appreciating each other. No more shame, walankia. Along with this newfound sense of support, I now felt the courage to leave. I could do my own thing. And at the same time, my cousin, Junaline, had also started her own business, a floral company called Juna Alinea, that was literally born out of creating the flowers at Jonathan's funeral. I invested in her business because I believed in her with some of that Google money. <laughs> but I yearned for my own. I was secretly jealous. I wanted to do the same. And that's why I wanted to create Make It Monaco. Because tomorrow was no longer a guarantee, everything in my family was worth celebrating. <laughs> Birthdays, graduations, you got a job? Oh, you didn't get that job? Oh, it's Saturday. <laughs> We wanted to party because everything was worth celebrating. I wanted to create these moments, these celebrations for everyone, for communities, families, couples, with the mission to remind people of the beauty and interconnectedness of life and appreciate their own. Juna and I's businesses were literally born out of death, but they brought us to life. So sisters, you don't need to wait for tragedy to strike to live your lives like there's no tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah.